episode 1174, Awaken the Heart. Moms, needing a little inspiration and a ray of hope? You've come to the right place. This is the show that you can turn to for just the pick-me-up you need. This is Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. Here's your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Staring at a stop sign, watching people drive by. Happy every day. I pray that you are having an extraordinary week. It is Inspiration Motivation Day, and we are diving in. Awaken the heart. For those of you who are brand new to Create You Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already haven't had the opportunity, you'll want to head on over to createyournow.com where you can learn more and sign up for the Kisses newsletter, the Keep It Simple Strategy Everyday Solutions to Live, Love, and Impact. Well, before we get started, I want to give a huge across the airways hug to Maria. Maria sent me a message and she said that she was touched by episode 1173. Sometimes we're fighting monsters within us. Sometimes we need that motivation. Maria, I know you got this. You can do it. Come on, girl. I'm cheering you on. And when we think about life, it kind of is really awe-inspiring, yet at the same time, it's overwhelming. We can't imagine that, you know, where we'll be in 20 years. We can kind of dream about it. But then when we get there, we look back and we're like, I had no idea I'd get here. And you wonder, where does motivation come from? How do you keep going after what you want? Awaken the heart. With each heartbeat, you are reminded that life is precious. No matter what is thrown at you, and I'm sure there's a lot thrown at you, nothing is impossible. Each day brings about its own problems and challenges. There are usually many celebrations. However, they are hidden beneath the struggles and the hurt of the day. That's where our focus goes. Because when we hurt, well, that's where we stay. We know that. When you are present in each moment, though, you are able to appreciate the littlest wins, the tiniest ones. Because with each little win, you become stronger, a warrior that conquers the day with joy and a smile, leaving no time for the struggles and the stuff that distracts you. I know I got a lot of stuff that distracts me. Every single time I turn around, it's like, oh my goodness, really? Can I not just stay on what I need to do? But no, there's interruption after interruption after interruption. It's called life. And of course, you have to figure some things out. But when you awaken the heart with gratitude and celebrate the little wins, you catch the biggest reward of all. You inspire you. You see beyond the messes. You feel beyond the hurt. You dream beyond the failures. You inspire you. Awaken the heart. Dance to the beat of a different drum. Your drum. Don't let those around you strike you down and strike down your dreams no matter how big they are. Dream bigger dreams. Awaken the heart. Feel the beat within you. Come alive and know that you matter. Don't let others' failures determine the path that you're going to take. You are on your own journey. You are a living legacy, writing your story. Awaken the heart. Hear the screams of joy as you cross each little finish line. With many goals comes many races. You got this. Don't let anyone slow you down because of their lack of belief in themselves. You were created on purpose for a purpose. This is your time to shine. Easter is upon us. Some of you are already celebrating Passover. When you are walking the path that Christ took, and you see, he did. He came here on earth as one of us as human. So he knows what it's like to walk this journey. He knows what it's like to hurt. He knows what it's like to experience adventure. He knows what it's like to celebrate. He knows what it's like to awaken the heart. You see, today is Monday, Thursday. And it's a time of reflection where We look at his life and this being the day, the last supper. And what stands out to me when he had supper with his disciples before he died on the cross for you and me was that he sat down and washed the feet 
the ones that walked beside him, the ones that took on hurt and pain that they didn't know what they were signing up for. Jesus did, but they didn't. He found gratitude in the mess. He found hope and beauty in the pain. He wrote his living legacy. He lived it out one step at a time. Yet with every single step that he took, he also remembered. He reflected. And I believe that on that last supper night, it was a time of reflection for him. It was a time to look back and be grateful and know that he was bringing up and rising up disciples that were going to go out and spread the good news of his love, of his hope. You see, ultimately, when we look for inspiration, we're looking for hope. We're looking for joy that's beyond what we can create in our own lives. And only one person brings that to us, and that's Jesus Christ himself. Where are you in your journey? Are you ready to awaken the heart? Are you ready to be challenged with the point of, when am I going to really awaken my heart? When am I going to say, this is the day that the Lord has made and I'm going to rejoice in it. No matter what is coming at me, no matter the hurdles that I have to go over, I'm going to awaken the heart. I'm going to inspire me because God inspires me. God inspired Jesus. And he always kept his promises. And I'll keep his promises to you. There is hope in your mess. And I promise you there's beauty. But when you want to be motivated and encouraged, it all starts with you. You have to awaken the heart. Because if it's cold and hardened, you won't see hope at all. The door will be already closed. And you'll just wander about. Doing the same old, same old. You were created on purpose, for a purpose. This is your time to shine. Awaken the heart. You matter. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and lots and lots of love. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.